Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here with Tendes. And today we're going to be doing a tour of our new home here in Da Nang, Vietnam. This is our new apartment. This is a much cheaper apartment than our last apartment. Yeah. So how much is this apartment, Tuong? 7.5 million. 7.5 million. Yeah. So a lot more budget friendly for us and oh. half the price of our last apartment. Let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Let's go. Also, before we begin the apartment tour, we want to ask that you guys click the thumbs up button. Please click. It really helps out our channel and we really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the entrance. Our apartment's really simple actually. It's a one bedroom apartment. So let's do a quick little overview of the full apartment. We showed this in a recent video when we were moving out of our old apartment. That's when we just started to check in. There was nothing in here. So you can check out that video first if you want to see what this place looked like before we moved everything in. Now we got all of our stuff in here. So I'll move back here a bit. You can see this is our dining table area. This is also our workstation area. So this is where we edit all of our videos. We do a bit of work online. We've also got the kitchen over here, bunch of storage space. We've got the bathroom over here. Next to the bathroom, we've got the bedroom. And then the last part of our apartment is going to be the main living room. So that's what everything looks like right now. We got a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna be talking about all of it, but let's start over here by the entrance. This part I'm really excited about. This is our shoe rack, <laughs> cycling rack. Yeah. This is very important for us because we go for bike rides almost every day here. We have all of our stuff here. These are our helmets that we're using right now. So we got all the stuff ready to go. We've got our heart rate monitors. We got our gloves. We got our sunglasses. We've got our masks and we've got some extra sun protection, some locks, our shoes, our cycling shoes, our regular shoes. And we just stocked up on some water. So that's one thing important here in Vietnam. You can't drink the tap water. So we got to get these giant big bottles of water and we restock those every month once or twice a month to try. maybe twice a month depending on how much we drink how much are these Tung? 200,000 dong. 200, dong for four for four for four okay so about 50,000 dong each yes. about two dollars fifty cents not so bad and we got our lovely <laughs> wedding pictures everywhere every apartment <laughs> every apartment we always put these up this is from one of our first dates in japan uh, this is japan's where we met by the way for any new viewers uh, we actually speak japanese together usually as our common language um, in these videos we try to get her to speak more english though so we got some taiyaki here from our taiyaki date but we filmed a video about how we met and why we speak japanese together so check out that video up above yeah. uh, other direction this one yeah so you can check out that video we talk about all that there and we get some delicious taiyaki um, this is our refrigerator and we also got our oven here we love this guy because we use this to cook granola uh, chewing recently what did you make yesterday um, pumpkin pound cake pumpkin pound cake yeah that was really good yeah. so we use our oven quite regularly we've also got a regular microwave over there uh, one thing we're lacking is a toaster. We can use this to toast things, but it's not so great and it's not as quick as a, a normal toaster would be. So up here, we got the freezer. Uh, nothing too special in here now. We actually got a bunch of ice packs. We use these for recovery after a, a long ride. We got a couple ice cube trays and we've actually got some Japanese stuff. We got some udon noodles. She went to the Japanese market the other day. And we've also got some natto. Japanese natto, really missed it. So really glad to get some of that again. Not as fresh, unfortunately, but should still be pretty good. In the main part of the fridge, we are fully stocked as always with fruits, some Dalat milk, which seems to be the local milk brand of choice here in Vietnam. And yeah, a bunch of different other snacks in here. Pretty loaded. This is kind of like the limit for us right now. We kind of wish we had a slightly bigger refrigerator, but it does the job for two people. Moving on to the rest of the kitchen. This is Tun Chan's favorite area yeah. because she loves cooking. Yes. Yes. And do you like this kitchen? Yes. Yes. 
So she likes this burner over here. So this is actually electric. Uh, the gas ones, they can be a little bit dangerous sometimes. So this one uses uh, induction and radiant. These seem to be pretty common here in Vietnam. So we've got two burners here and we got a decent amount of space here. So we can move this bottle down if we need to cook more here. We've got our nice blender. This was a worthy investment I use this to make my protein shakes or smoothies with some of the fruits. We got our kettle and yeah, we got a bunch of stuff in the cabinets here. So this is our spices and my peanut butter. I'm running out of peanut butter. This is a local brand here we've been trying out. It's okay, um, but it does have a little bit of extra sugars. We're gonna try and find a, another brand that doesn't have so many sugars. So this is what I used to make my oatmeal usually. Speaking of oatmeal, they do sell oats here in Vietnam. So this has been my go-to brand for getting the, the big package of oats. This one's nice because you get the traditional oats, um, but they don't seem to sell it in many places. And they usually sell this type, the more cut type. I'm not a big fan of these. So sometimes this is the only option, but I try to get this when I can. It's been pretty good so far. And yeah, just a bunch of snacks. We're fully loaded on food. The other interesting thing in this kitchen is this rack here. Um, this is our like sort of drying rack. So we wash the dishes down here. As soon as we finish washing them, we just put them up here on the drying rack. And yeah, it's been a good system so far. The nice thing about the apartments here as well is a lot of them come stocked. So they came with some different like plates and stuff. Of course, we brought um, some of our own, some nicer quality stuff. Um, but it's nice that they have some of the basics here. This is another nifty little drawer here. So we got our protein bottle and just <laughs> I tried to fit as much stuff in here as possible. And we got all of our knives. You got to be careful when Tuan Chan has a knife. She just bought a new knife because she said the other knives weren't good enough. Yeah, she wanted a new knife. Yeah. Yeah. Cut. What? Cut. Cut. <laughs> yeah, be careful when she's got the knife. So it's a nice spacious kitchen and there's one other cool feature. Yeah. yeah. We got a nice bright light. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice, especially at nighttime when there's less natural light here and just really easy to cook, really easy to clean. Everything's really well lit. Yeah. That's another cool thing about the light here actually. So you'll notice this is something that's really unique here um, that I've noticed in Vietnam, especially in Da Nang. I'm not sure if this is in all the country, but they have these kind of style lights. And these actually can change. So if you turn it off and on, right now it's on a normal blue light. We turn it off, we turn it on. You see it turned to a more like orangish kind of light. So this is without the blue light. This is for night time. Um, so we can switch and use whatever type of light that we want to use. So that was a really cool feature that we didn't even realize the first few days until one of our friends came over and he told us about it. <laughs> Okay, next, let's go to the bathroom, yeah. bedroom. Welcome. Welcome. Let's go to the, the bedroom. Yeah. yeah, so we finally got our bedding and we had to get our own pillows. So it's kind of funny that it came with the mattress and it came with the bedding. It came with the blanket and it came with two pillows, but it didn't come with any pillow covers. So we had to go buy some pillow covers and we wanted to get an extra set of pillows, just a different type of firmness. So we're trying them all out. Um, so we just got random pillow covers. Check these all out. Mostly blue and yellow. Mistake, mistake. Mistake? Oh, Tung is the yellow. Yes. I'm the blue. She, yes. she picked that one out. <laughs> uh, but the bed is really convenient with the layout. We've got the, the plugs here and we've also got the, the light switch. So we got two light switches, one by the door, one over here. So we can be laying in bed and we can turn off the light without having to get up. And we got the plugs here, the table and on my side, I'm the blue side. We've got another little table over here and we got another like plug to plug things in if we need to uh, lay in bed while using our laptops or using the, um, our iPads to work on some videos. We can do that while we're here. We've also got a nice weird little table here. Um, we actually haven't used this yet. So technically you could sit down here. You could get some work done. Uh, we, we charge a lot of our stuff here. Like at night, we'll leave the iPads or our phones here to charge. The thing I really like about this bedroom though, is just the, the storage space. We've got these two closets. So one here on the left is mine. One here on the right is Tung's. 
and we got some more storage space up on top so uh, we've got some of our old boxes up there we got our suitcases this is a new awesome bike box that we got for our folding bikes so let's show you guys the inside this one's mine we're not going to show you guys tunes but yeah you can see we've got more cycling clothes than regular clothes at least for me i think she's got more regular clothes but yeah we got a lot of clothes from our cycling sponsor santic these are our custom two wheel cruise jerseys we got a bunch of their regular jerseys as well and yeah no shortage of cycling clothes for our rides and we've also got some storage space up here in the top this is Toonchan's favorite yes <laughs> this is her board game collection so we just went to the local board game cafe here to pick up some new board games so which one is your favorite Toon? Katan. 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 Yeah. We just played the other day. Toon likes to always teach her friends how to play Katan. We actually met the other day with uh, Eli in Vietnam, the other um, streamer here mm -hmm. in Da Nang. And him and his wife really like it. Mm -hmm. And who won that game, Toon Chan? Dari ga katta? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, she's a little upset. So yeah, we've got Seven Wonders, Catan, and Splendor. We haven't opened that one yet, and we're still finding people to play with. So yeah, we're hoping to expand our board game collection here in Da Nang. If you have any suggestions, please let us know in the comments. The other thing over here in the bedroom I should show, this is our front wall, so I think you could put like a TV here if you want. We don't do that because we're usually happy with just our like iPads in the bed. But um, yeah, you can see we have a lot of boxes here. That's the one unfortunate thing about this apartment is there's not much storage space. Or maybe we just have too much stuff. So we've got our bike boxes, bike box, bike box, bike box. And we try to keep these just in case we need them again in the future. Um, sometimes we can put extra stuff inside of them. And yeah, this is our grocery bag. So we use a lot of this stuff pretty regularly. We got some of our bike tools. I'm still trying to find a good place to put all my tools my cleaning equipment. Uh, we've got Tun Chan's piano, which she hasn't been playing recently. Why? Uh, it got more difficult. Uh, yeah, she was really excited when she first got the piano and in the beginning it was fun, but now it's becoming more difficult. So <laughs> I think she's losing her motivation, unfortunately. So you guys got to comment. Tell Tun Chan, practice piano more. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay, next let's show them. We got a little balcony over here. We got our welcome mat. We actually got two of these. And yeah, nothing special. Um, we don't have a super great view. We can see some of the mountains nearby, but no ocean view or anything. Unfortunately, we're just surrounded by a bunch of houses and stuff. So nothing too special. We don't go out there too often. Maybe we'll hang out some of our clothes. Let's go back into the living room area. So again, this is our dining table. This is where we do all of our work. If we have a little party with some of our friends to come over, we'll just clean everything up and we'll move this out into the center. And we spend a lot of our days just here editing videos and doing computer work. This is another thing I'm pretty excited about. This is a uh, sort of standing, <laughs> folding, um, adjustable desk that you can use. So it adjusts into a bunch of different positions. I can change it into a standing desk here on the table. I can sit on the couch and use it. So it's been pretty convenient so far. Um, it is a little unstable, but it does the job. Moving on over here to the living room, we decided to keep the sofa. The sofa was included here. It is nice to have um, in case we want to watch TV or something over here. But as you can see, it is getting a little bit crowded over here. We got um, one, two, three, four, five, six bikes now <laughs> and possibly going to be increasing in the near future. You'll notice we got a new bike here. This is our new Dahon folding bike. We're doing a full review on that. So you can check out that video. That'll be linked above when it's ready. So that's our 20 inch folding bike. We've also got our 16 inch tri-fold folding bikes, the Royals from Mobot. And we've been using those a lot, especially for our grocery shopping. And we've got our main road bikes here. These are our Kaze race road bikes. So for now, we decided to go with a double lineup kind of position. We're just stacking the bikes next to each other and trying to save as much space as possible. We can fold the, the folding bikes down a little bit more if we need to, but we're fine just lining them up here for right now. I tried to put some cardboard down on the bottom, but 
we might try and improve the situation a little bit more. I am thinking about getting a kind of wall rack so we can maybe get the road bikes above and keep the folding bikes below. So that'll make it take up a little less space. And then our big bad boy, we got the, the spin bike. This has been good because it's the rainy season here. So we often use this and do some Zwift workouts. I'll be making a video in the near future talking about my Zwift setup now. Um, the only disadvantage with this bike is the everything is oversized with the crank and with the pedals. I tried a bunch of ways to fix it, but I can't get my normal power meter pedals on there, unfortunately. So we're stuck using the flat pedals on that. And this is our lovely fan. This is our best friend when we're doing the indoor cycling workouts. So yeah, nothing special here. If we do have some people come over, we'll just maybe cram all the bikes out on the balcony or put them in the bedroom or something so we can open up some space in here. Otherwise it does get a little bit congested in here. Okay, and the last room is the bathroom. bathroom. Yes. So Vietnamese bathrooms are, if you're not used to them or Asian bathrooms in general, they're pretty interesting because they mix everything together. So we've got the shower here. We've got the washing machine here. We've got the toilet here. And the last part, we got the sink here. So we made some upgrades in here or not upgrades, but we added some things here. I got the same rack over here. We're not using this as much, but we can put things there if we need to. So I got a few things placed on there right now, but we have the space in case we need it because this sink, unfortunately, it doesn't have much space to place things. That's one disadvantage I don't like about this setup, but yeah, we got a mirror here. We got a little storage space. And the other cool thing I'm really excited about, this is our little upgrade, is we got these extendable rods. So we're hanging these in a couple different places just in case we need to hang things. And we hung up another one here. This is above the washer. So we can hang our towels here so we get easier access to get them. After a workout, we can hang some of our dirty clothes here so they can dry out next to the window. We've got our towels so we can grab them right away. And of course, our, our basic washing machine here. We hang dry everything outside for the most part. And this is our shower, pretty simple. We don't have a curtain or anything. Um, it's not a problem. We actually bought this really cool, like giant squeegee here. I, Tung does most of the shopping, so I asked her to buy a squeegee. And I wasn't expecting this giant one, but this thing is awesome. After we do a shower, um, everything's all wet. We just use the squeegee and we can push all the water down into the drain. Oh wow. Oh, that's good. We can make this the thumbnail photo maybe. <laughs> and yeah, we just, we don't have much space to put everything. So we got our cleaning mop here and we've got another rack here just for hanging some extra clothes or towels and stuff. So, so what do you guys think? Do you like our new apartment? Leave a comment down below. What do you like? What do you not like? What should we improve? And also make sure you check out our other apartment tours from our previous homes. We have our apartment tour in Japan. We have our apartment tour from our previous apartment here in Vietnam. I'll leave those links above so you can go check out those videos. And that's going to be it for today's video. So a big thank you to all of you guys for watching, especially a big thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Thanks to your guys' support. We're able to continue making these videos and that's going to be it for today's video, guys. We'll see you next time here on Tuo Cruise. Bye-bye.